Hi, Achy Dad here. Got a little achy tooth. I had to fix something I've been meaning to for th two or three years when they took out a wisdom tooth, and then I got a root canal, which was actually pretty easy. I'm reviewing a handheld microphone. I don't think I've done this before. My late uncle was a musician. He passed away uh, a couple years ago, and he had this mic and bequeathed it to me, and it's fairly old, but it's still for sale for a couple hundred bucks. I know I, I've tried Shure 58s, Shure 57s. I like those. Uh, but I wanted to try this one. So far, uh, I have it hooked up from here to a USB on a new MacBook Pro with a USB converter to USB-C. It has a 9-volt battery. I'll switch to the laptop mic so you can see the difference. Although it's a little hard to hook up sometimes, it seems to be temperamental. Uh, the cable has a nice red light on it that is blinking, I think, when it's working, and Maybe I was just a little confused, but uh, this seems to be pretty good, and I'm watching the red light, which I can't show you, which is blinking. And, of course, you can tap on the MacBook Pro when you're testing to see if uh, it's picking up from that mic. I wonder if I do my popping peas how it is, or if I scrape my lips on the microphone. That's kind of disgusting and a little <laughs> weird. Uh, let's see about this or this. All right, uh, strange. Moving on, and let's see if I take it further away from my mouth and I come back really close to my mouth. All right, and uh, I like it so far. It's heavy, it's metal, it's got a recessed power switch. I'm gonna switch microphones to the onboard microphone and take it apart and, and show you guys and girls what is inside it. Uh, it's be a short review because I'm not a mic expert. And uh, I will say um, on my iPhone 8 or any smartphone, getting underneath a big wool blanket will really make the phone sound better. It's like a sound studio. I've also heard putting scotch tape over the microphone of a smartphone because they're, they're geared for telephone voices works. So smartphones can do really well also within about three feet of someone is good, but these mics are amazing for noisy rooms. And it says it's a high performance, small diaphragm condenser microphone, gold sputtered microphone capsule, uh, internal batteries, base cut, negative 10 decibels for amazing versatility, switchable. This might be a slightly different as this takes a nine volt, but it's still the C1000S, and maybe it's not the high performance. I noticed a couple on Amazon uh, that all have that, that C1000S. Uh, this is the nine volt. All right, let's switch mics and, and see how it sounds. All right, this is uh, the internal mic on a MacBook Pro, the relatively newer kind with the touch bar and the noisy keys, uh, but it's fast. Uh, this is not the mic, as you can see, it's it's not recording, it's unplugged. I wanted to show you how this cable going into the into the laptop, the recessed power switch my uncle obviously used a lot. It's hard to use, but I like it because it's recessed. And this is metal. Uh, the mic is probably getting a little scratch from that cable. Okay, this is the battery and the microphone. It's a little dirty. As I said, my uncle had this for years. Should probably gently clean it out. And this is the inside. You can hardly see light through it. I think it has a good uh, foam inside to it. All right, so that's the end of this review. I'll put a link to this mic, or what I think is this mic. I keep doing this with these darn glasses. Do I look old? Do I look achy? I think so. Uh, in the description. And let's see. Stay high fidelity out there.